Over the last month, the crisis in Gaza has captured the world's attention. Military conflict has been taking a devastating toll in a densely populated area. So tens of thousands of people have nowhere to live and nowhere else to go. The conflict means that the people of Gaza are in great need. Thousands of exhausted families are living in temporary shelters, facing a very uncertain future. The DEC estimates over a million people don't even have access to enough clean water. These people desperately need your help. That's why the Disasters Emergency Committee, or DEC, an umbrella organisation that unites 13 UK humanitarian aid agencies, has launched an emergency appeal. DEC members and their partners are already on the ground, but to help the vast numbers of people affected, they need your donation. Families are grieving over the many dead. Thousands of people have been injured. So providing urgent medical attention is crucial. Already overstretched medical services are at breaking point. Help from the outside is required right now for the sick and injured and to bring relief to the displaced. Delivering humanitarian aid in areas of conflict is difficult, but the member agencies of the DEC work with experienced local partners to ensure that aid reaches those who so desperately need it. 25 pounds can buy 150 bandages. 50 pounds can feed five families for a day. 100 pounds can provide an emergency shelter kit and blankets for one family. This is an urgent humanitarian crisis, so the DEC needs us to act now. Please help if you can. You can give online at dec.org.uk or you can call 0370 60 60 900. To donate five pounds, text HELP to 7000. Texts cost five pounds and the whole five pounds goes to the DEC Girls of Crisis Appeal. You must be 16 or over, and please ask the bill payers' permission. For full information, go to dec.org.uk. Thank you.
Standing here filming for about 20 minutes or something, and it's still nowhere near the end of the queue. I'm probably going to run out of battery before I get to the end of it. <laughs> half an hour and I still can't see the end of the, the march. It's, I think I'm going to run out of memory and battery before it ends. <laughs>
Right, so it's uh, 45 minutes now and I still can't see the end of it. It's mad. No, I'm good, like the tourists. Yeah. Sorry, sorry.
Palestinian feet over there. <laughs> It would seem that after an hour almost exactly that we have reached the official end of the march. I say that because if you look over there, there's a, a lorry, whoop, police lorry thing, whoops. So yeah, I would say that's the official end. Just there. There it is, going off into the distance. So uh, when they start saying all oh, there are a few thousand or whatever on the BBC or Sky later on, we'll be able to watch this and go, bullshit.